Hello everyone and boys and girls of our Sunday School. God bless everybody. Uh, we're here in church today on March 25th and I have a few things to say to our, all of our Sunday School uh, students about this beautiful feast day today on uh, March 25th. Um, but first of all, boys and girls, I want to say God bless you. I know we're in kind of a, a difficult time and we have to kind of stay home and there's some worries about things and uh, the sickness and the virus that's going around, but boys and girls, everything's going to get better. God doesn't want us to worry, and let's really think about, you know, there's so many good things that we have. We have our home, we have food, we have water, we have groceries, we have our family, we have um, all kinds of things that we can do online, and let's um, focus on the positive and good things and don't worry. We're going to get back to life as it was before very, very soon, okay? God bless you. God's with you. And I want to talk to you a little bit today about this very, very beautiful day, March 25th. Uh, first of all, Kronia Pola, happy um, Greek Independence Day, March 25th. As uh, Greek Orthodox Christians, we celebrate the um, freedom of the country of Greece and freedom to have our own religion, freedom uh, in, uh, from all of the th other things that were oppressing the Greek people uh, back in um, 1821. So it's a beautiful, beautiful feast day today of freedom, Kronjopola, Greek Independence Day. And also in the Orthodox Church, March 25th, is the Annunciation. Evangelismos in Greek. And boys and girls, that's the, the day back 2,000 years ago where God, God loves us so much that He wanted to come down from heaven in a beautiful way. He wanted to come down and become one of us. God, the creator of the universe, wanted to come down and become one of us. And so how did He do that? How did God become a human being? That's what the Annunciation is all about. And the word annunciation, evangelismos, means to announce something, to say that God was going to come uh, into the world. And, and how did that happen? Well, first of all, we see in this beautiful icon, um, we see the archangel Gabriel. And he is announcing this good news that God is going to become a human being. Now, as I mentioned, this is... Archangel Gabriel. He is a messenger angel, okay? And we know this because he's holding this staff here, see? The staff of a messenger. He brings beautiful messages to people. And he's bringing this message to the Virgin Mary. Now, we know that that's Archangel Gabriel because of the staff. Archangel Michael, the other great archangel, we can see here in our church, we can see this icon, and here's Michael, and he's not holding a staff, but he's holding a spear, okay, a weapon, and he fights with that weapon. Archangel Michael fights the devil and evil for us. He helps us. He is a warrior, Archangel. Gabriel is a messenger. And he is bringing the beautiful message that God loves us so much, he's going to become one of us. Now, how did God do this? Well, he did this through the Virgin Mary, the Panagia, the Theotokos. And we see Gabriel here bringing the message to Mary. And she said yes to Archangel Gabriel. He said, you are going to behold a son and give birth to a son, Jesus, and he will not just be an ordinary human being, but he will also be God. So we believe, boys and girls, that Jesus is both God and human at the same time. So Gabriel here brought the message to Mary, and she said yes. To him. Now, I want you to know something very, very important. Look down here at the feet 
of the Archangel Gabriel, okay? He's not just standing still like this, but he's moving quickly. His legs are spread. He's running fast. It is a very, very, that, that teaches us it's a very important, a very urgent message of how much God loves us and that he wants to become one of us and he loves us and he wants to be with us and that's very, very important as we see Archangel Gabriel running and the urgency, the importance of that message, boys and girls, okay? And now finally, I just wanted to say, as we look up higher in the icon, we see the Holy Spirit. You see this beautiful line here, this um, golden ray of light, the Holy Spirit coming down all the way to the womb of Mary. That is how God became human through the Holy Spirit descending upon Mary, and that's how Jesus was going to come into the world. So, boys and girls, that's the message of the Annunciation, the announcing of the good news, God coming into the world. Archangel Gabriel delivered that message, and we see how very, very important it is through his feet moving very, very quickly, delivering that message. And boys and girls, it's very, very important to us and urgent for us to, like Mary, to accept Jesus, to believe in him, to have faith in him uh, through all the different times in our life, through the good times, through difficult times, through the difficult time we're in right now, when we have Jesus and we believe in him and we have faith in him, he will comfort us and help us and bless us and we have nothing to worry about because Jesus loves us and he's with us. That's the good news. That's the Evangelismos. That's the Annunciation on March 25th that our Greek Orthodox Church celebrates on this beautiful day. God bless you and we look forward to seeing you very, very soon with more messages and we truly look forward to seeing everyone very soon back in our church worshiping all together. God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.